How would you describe pop surreal art? I would describe it as iconic imagery from pop, from pop culture. Um, they really make up the real uh, inspiration. Like in the past, like the, the masters drew from religious imagery or political or, uh, well, it was mostly that, political, um, religious. Instead of that, we're drawing images from our youth, from pop culture. Um, so there's a very rich uh, area of inspiration because there are so many pop icons. Um, by taking those pop icons and adding a narrative to it, putting them in different situations, um, in for me, it's it's situations where they where they're unfamiliar. Putting Frankenstein in a bar, drinking a martini, uh, by mixing the past and the present, that's that's the inspiration for me. I love the I love being able to take whatever character I want from my past, and mostly it's it's either monsters or movie stars or rock stars, and um, just placing them in a in a different area that kind of creates this kind of backstory of automatically they're they're dropped into this new environment something that they're not used to and that really creates the the composition and the narrative now as far as describing that whole thing to someone else um, it's about it's about history but it's it's recent history it's about uh, entertainment that has kind of stuck in our heads as being uh, important imagery to people who grew up watching TV. I mean, TV was our main source of, of entertainment. And the things that that stick in your head are usually the things from your early childhood, from your, your teen years. Like, I still... Like, Frankenstein is my favorite image. And I used to watch Frankenstein movies when I was 10 or 11. And I'm still painting Frankenstein after all these years. <laughs> and every, every time I start a new Frankenstein painting, I love it. So it's that it's everybody has their favorite things from the youth, whether it was certain toys or movies or music, uh, TV, uh, magazines, books. They all sticks with you for your whole life. And you still enjoy those same things even when you get older. So the joy for me is that I'm still able to not only draw inspiration from them, but I can I can show my work to people and to see their faces when they look at a Frankenstein drinking a martini and when they get it, they love it and it's it's amazing for me because I can see it in their face that they're that they get it and those images ring true to them as well. And they kind of relive a little bit of their past, but, you know, like I said, it's drawn to the future too. So it's kind of a cool juxtaposition of the past and the, and the uh, future or the past and the, and the now. <laughs>